hello everybody compliments of the season <laughs> let's solve this okay this is under indices you are asked that if three raised to the power of m times 27 okay raised to the power of 2m minus 1 is equal to 81 we are asked to find the value of m i'd like you to follow me and see how i'm going to get this in steps okay let's do that so this is the question now first of all let me write it here so that i'll be seeing everything so let's write it here so that everybody will see it. So we have 3 raised to the power of m times 27 raised to the power of 2m minus 1 is equal to 81. All right, first of all, once you see indices, okay, the first thing that will come to your mind is what? We are going to try to know if you can put everything here in the same base. Try to put everything here in the same base. So this is the lowest base here, 3. Is there anything you can do to this 27 to have 3 raised to the power of something? Yes. Is there anything you can do to this 81 to have 3 raised to the power of something? Yes. Now, let's go ahead and do that. So, this is 3 raised to the power of m times 27 is same thing as 3 raised to the power of 3. See, 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is what? 9. 9 times 3 is what? 27. So, that means that we can replace 27 with what? 3 raised to the power of 3. Remember, we have what? 2m minus 1 here is equal to, the same thing goes for 81. 81 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 4. So we are going to replace this 81 with 3 raised to the power of 4. Now, looking at this now, we are going to expand this. Let's expand this. So you have 3 raised to the power of m times 3 raised to the power of 3 times 2m. It's going to give us 6m, okay? So you have 6m. Minus 3 times 1 will give us 3, okay? Is equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. Now, we are going to solve this using what? Uh, the multiplica uh, multiplication law of indices. And that is why we tried to do what? To reduce everything to the same base. Because that law goes with numbers that are in the same base. The multiplication law states that if you have a raised power of m, multiplying a raised power of n, that it is equal to a raised power of m plus what? n. Okay? Let me bring this home. This means that if you have something like 3 raised to the power of m, say 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 raised to the power of 5, that all you need to do is to pick one of the 3s, pick 1, and add the powers 2 plus, 2 plus 5. So that you are going to have 3 raised to the power of 7. As your answer now we are going to apply this to what we have here let's do that when you look at what we have here now we have three we have three here so we are going to pick one three we are going to pick one three and we are going to add the powers okay so I'm now write m plus 6m minus 3 okay is equal to 3 raised to the power of 4 so I have 3 raised to the power of m plus 6m is going to give us 7m 7m minus 3 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. This implies that this 3 and this 3, they are the same, right? So if this and this, if they are in the same base, that means their powers are also equal. If 3 is equal to 3, then it's wise to say that the powers are equal. So we can now write that 7m minus 3 is also equal to 4. Now we are going to do what? We are looking for m, remember. So I want this 7m to remain on its own. I'll write it. This minus 3, I want it to cross this and get to 4. So I'm going to write equal to 4. This minus 3, when it crosses this equation, it becomes plus 4. So you are going to, it's gone, it becomes plus 3. So you are going to have plus 3. So this implies that 7m is equal to what? 4 plus 3 is what? 7. All right. So we now have that 7m is equal to 7. That is what where we stop. Now we are looking for m. So what do we do? We are going to divide both sides by 7, okay? If you have followed me to this level, that means you like what I'm doing. Then for you to be seeing more of this and more of my face, all you need to do is to click that subscription button, okay? Subscribe to the channel, then click on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video, all right? Okay, let us continue. We have that 7m is equal to 7. So if we divide through by 7, so it means that we have 7m over 7 is equal to 7 over 7, right? 7 we cancel 7, we are left with m, which is what we are asked to find 
is equal to 7 divided 7, you'll have 1. So it means that our M is equal to 1. Do have a lovely day and bye-bye.